morning students yesterday we are learn practice set 2.1 and basic things for practice set 2.1 but yesterday we are only learn practice set 2.1 problem number 1 and some questions of this today we are going to learn practice set 2.1 remaining problems so we are start from problem number 2 So, practice set 2.1, problem number 2 is given here. In the adjoining figure, line P parallel to line Q means line P is parallel to Q, and line L and line A are transversal. So, which are the transversal? L is the transversal, and M is the transversal. So, measure of some angles are shown. Hence, find the measure of A. b c and d so you want to find out angular measure of a b c and d so here is first we can draw the diagram such a way this is the diagram so this is the p line this is the q lines so c this line is the p line this line is the q lines so this p line and this q line they are parallel to each other because here is given that the line p parallel to line q so p line and q line they are parallel to each other so p and q they are parallel then what are they given the transversal l and m so this is the transversal l and this is the transversal m so this is the transversal l so these are the two transversal and these are the two lines p and q lines they are parallel to each other according to given informations then here is we are showing the angle which you want to find out angular nature so here is the red is shown here the red number that is find out the value by us okay so this value 115 they are finding by us by red value so see how can you find out so this is the 110 degree and this is the a so these two angles are the linear pairs of each other so with help of the linear pairs we know major angle a plus 110 is equal to 180 degree so linear pairs of each other so a plus 110 is equal to 180 so 110 is positive go across negative so 180 minus 110 so a is equal to you are getting 70 So C A plus 110 very direct 110 degree plus major angle A is equal to 180 degree angles in linear pairs. So this A and 110 very direct angles in linear pairs. So 110 is positive when that go across it become negative. So major angle A is equal to 180 degree. So this 110 is positive go across negative 180. Minus 110, so major angle A is equal to 70 degree. So here is you get angular value of A. It is the 70 degree. Then you want to find out the line P. See here, line P and line Q. They are parallel, and A is the transversal. Okay, that is given. So see, this is the 110 degree, and this is the E angle. So this P and this Q they are parallel. So this distance between these two line, P line and Q line, is called as the interior region. So distance between these two lines is called the interior region. So E angle, major angle E plus 110 is equal to what? 180 degree. C. This is the E angle. This is the 110 degree angle. So 110 degree angle and E angle, they are the interior angles of each other. Why we are saying they are interior angles of each other? Because they are having in between P lines and Q lines, so they are the interior angles of each other. So, major angle E plus 110 is equal to 180 degree. So 110 is positive, go across negative. So major angle E is equal to 180 minus 110 degree. So 180 minus 110 degree. So major angle E is equal to 70 degree. So here is your concept is clear. It is 70 degree. Are you understand my students how it is get the 70 degree? See, this is the P lines and this is the Q lines. So distance between these two lines is interior portion. So 110 and E they are the interior angle. So interior angle sum is 180 degree. 
So major angle A plus one major angle A plus 110 degree is equal to 180 degree. So 110 is positive. Why cross negative? 180 minus 110. So what is remain 70? So major angle A is equal to 70 degree. Anyone doubts here? So if we are observe if it is getting 70 degree, so is vertically opposite angle B C. This is the E angle. So E angle is vertically opposite angle B. So if it is 70 degree, then B is also 70 degree. That can be shown by vertically opposite angle. See, here is written also. Major angle B is equal to major angle E. Reason is vertically opposite angle. So this E angle and B angle, they are vertically opposite angles. So the angular measure of E is 70. So B is also 70. And that is written here. Major angle E is equal to 70. So major angle B is equal to 70. So here is it is get 70. So B and D they are the which angles of each other. So they are the corresponding angles of each other. But here is it is not a parallel line. This N and M is not parallel line. So here is not using the corresponding angle. So we are going to see here is 115 degree. So this 115 degree and this D angle they are the linear pairs of each other. So with help of that we can find out the angle C. C here is line M. Line P parallel to line Q and line M is the transversal. So angle C is what is angle C? C. This is the P line, this is the Q line. They are parallel to each other. So this is the 115 degree angle. So this C angle is the corresponding angle of this. So angle C is equal to 150. See, I already explained yesterday, corresponding angle means one angle alternate. So see, this 150, this angle is not taken. So I have taken this angle. So if this is 115 degree, then angle C is equal to also 115 degree. So major angle C is equal to 115 degree, reason corresponding angle. Is that clear? So line P and line Q are parallel and this M is the transversal. Okay, then we are going to learn another. That is the D angle you want to find out. So if you want to find out D angle, then 115 and D, they are the linear pairs of each other. See, this is the 115 degree angle and this is the D. They are the LPA. LPA means linear pairs of each other. So linear pairs angle sum is 180 degree. So 115 plus D is equal to 180 degree. So CR 115 plus major angle D is equal to 180 degree. Angle in linear pairs that is seen here. So 115 is positive when that go across it become negative. 180 minus 115. So remaining is 65. So major angle D is equal to 65 degree. Okay, I will repeat for understanding purpose. See, this is the A angle and this is the 110. So, this A angle and 110, they are the linear pairs of each other. See, this A angle and this 110, they are the linear pairs of each other. So, sum of them is 180. So, here is written 110 plus major angle A is equal to 180 angle in linear pairs. So, 110 is positive, go across negative. 180 minus 110. So major angle A is equal to 70 degree. Then here is P and here is Q. So P and Q they are parallel to each other. So the 110 degree and E they are the interior angles of each other. <coughs> they are the interior angles of each other. So 110 and E they are interior angle. So interior angle sum is 180 degree. So here is written major angle E plus 110 is equal to 180 interior angle. Okay, so 110 is positive, go across negative. So 110 go across, 180 minus 110 remain is 70. So major angle E is equal to 70 degree. Then, see, we are getting E is 70 degree. So E is vertically opposite angle B, C. This is the E angle. So that E is vertically opposite angle B. So E is equal to what? E is equal to 70 degree. So B is equal to also 70 degree because vertically opposite angles are always congruent with each other. So major angle E is equal to 70 degree. 
मेजर एंगल बी कॉन्ग्रेंट विथ मेजर एंगल मेजर एंगल बी इक्वल विथ मेजर एंगल बी वर्टिकली अपोजिट एंगल आई एम ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन ई एंड बी आर वर्टिकली अपोजिट एंगल सो ई इज द सेवेंटी डिग्री सो बी इज इक्वल टू ऑल्सो सेवेंटी डिग्री सो हेर इज राइट सेवेंटी डिग्री देन सी दिस इज द वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन डिग्री एंड दिस पी लाइन एंड क्यू लाइन दे आर पैरल सो दिस वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन डिग्री सी इज द करस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल सो करस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल इज कॉन्गर आर्ट सो इफ दिस इज वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन सी इज इक्वल टू ऑल्सो वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन सो हेर इज रिटर्न मेजर एंगल सी इज इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन करस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल सो वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन प्लस मेजर एंगल सो वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन प्लस मेजर एंगल डी इज इक्वल टू वन एटी सो वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन प्लस मेजर एंगल डी इज इक्वल टू वन एटी वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन इज पॉजिटिव टू आई क्रॉस नेगेटिव सो वन एटी माइनस वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन डी इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी फाइव डिग्री सच ए वे वी आर फाइंडिंग ऑल द एंगुलर मेजर्स देन वी आर गोइंग टू लॉन्स प्रॉब्लम नंबर फोर इन द प्रॉब्लम नंबर थर्ड वॉट दे आर सेट इन द एडजॉइनिंग फिगर एल इज पैरल टू एल so they are said in that figure the l line is parallel to a line and the line a and line b parallel so find a angle b angle and c angle the given measure of the angles okay so we are completing the diagram here such a way this is a line this is p line they are parallel this is a line this is a line they are parallel means this all four lines are parallel a is parallel to p okay this a line so this a line is parallel to p line this is the a line so that a line is parallel to m line so they are parallel to each other so you want to find out a angle b angle and c angle so how can you find out that so here is we are write first angles so this is a angle this is b angle and this is c angle that angular measure you want to find out b angle is taken by us for finding the angle so c this angle is given 45 degree okay this angle is given 45 degree so this 45 degrees d is the corresponding angle so if it is 45 then d is also 45 so here is we are write that the line l c this is the line l and this is the line m they are parallel to each other and here is this p is the transverse so due to that there is 45 degrees corresponding angle is d so d corresponding angles are congruent so d is equal to 45 degree so here is written major angle d is equal to 45 degree reason corresponding angles then c the d is equal to you are getting 45 degree so angle d major angle d and major angle b they are the linear pairs of each other see this major angle d and this major angle b they are the linear pairs of each other and linear pair sum is equal to what 180 degree so d is equal to 45 degree 45 degree plus b is equal to 180 degree so that is written here see the major angle d and major angle b is 180 degree linear pairs so d is you getting that corresponding angle so d is equal to 45 degree so here is a right 45 degree plus major angle b is major angle we write as it is is equal to 180 are you understand see this 45 degree is corresponding angle d so if it is 45 then d is also 45 So here is right major angle d is equal to 45 degree corresponding angle. Then see here the major angle d and major angle b they are the linear pairs of each other. So linear pair sum is 180 degree. So major angle d plus major angle b is equal to 180 degree linear pairs. Major angle d is equal to 45 degree. So I write 45 degree plus major angle b is equal to 180 degree. 45 degree is positive going across negative. So 180 minus 45 remain is 135. So here is B is equal to 135. So see this B 135. B angle and A angle they are vertically opposite angles of each other. Okay, they are vertically opposite angles of each other. So if B is equal to 135, A is equal to also 135. See it is written that. Angle A and angle B are vertically opposite angles, so B is the 135, so A is equal to 135.
So that is written here major angle A is equal to major angle B vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles. So major angle A is equal to major angle B. So here is A is equal to what? Let me want to find out. B is getting 135. So A angle and B angle vertically opposite angle. So B is equal to 135 degree. So A is equal to also 135 degree. So here is the value term major angle A is equal to major angle B. So major angle A B is equal to 135 degree. So major angle A is equal to also 135 degree. So see this is the 135 degree and this angle they are the alternate angles of each other. Or if you are taken such a way it is 135 degree then it is also 135 degree. So they are corresponding angle and this is very simple to understand. So this B angle and C angle are corresponding angle. So B is equal to 135 degree. So C is equal to 135 degree. Such a way we are getting angle B. See this angle B corresponding angle with C. So B is 135. So C is equal to this C is equal to 135. So that is written here. Then we are going to learn last problem in this exercise. Question number 4. In the adjoining figure, angle PQR and XYZ are parallel to each other. Means angle PQR and angle XYZ, these two angles are parallel to each other. Okay. Then prove that angle PQR is congruent with XYZ. So you want to prove that PQR is congruent with XYZ. So what is given? They are given YZ parallel to QR. Okay and a yx parallel to qp that is given and you want to prove that pqr congruent xyz so extend ray yz in the opposite direction it intersect the ray qp at point x so when we are draw the diagram so first i can go in towards the diagram see So first we are completing the diagram here. So see they are given PQR. So see this is the P, this is the Q, this is the R, PQR. Then another XYZ. This is the X, this is the Y and this is the Z. So this PQR and XYZ they are parallel to each other. See YZ is parallel to QR. So these two angles are parallel to each other. Then what they are said? Ray YZ. See this is the ray yz so this yz parallel to qr is it clear yes they are parallel to qr then xy so this xy is parallel to qp or pq correct that is given then construction extend yz so see this is the yz okay so that yz is extend to intersect the pq at point s so this yz is extend and intersect the pq at point s so it is given s name is that clear samaj le ka tumhala baka tane asa sangitela ki ha pqr ahe ani ha xyz ahe he doni angle parallel le dekhne ka then they are said yz is parallel to qr yes it is parallel xy is parallel to pq yes it is par parallel then this yz is increases extend to intersect the PQ. So where is that intersect PQ at point U name S. Is that clear? So first what is given? Yx parallel to QP. See, this is the Yx, this parallel to QP. So if they are parallel, then which is the transversal XY? XY is the transversal. So here is the condition P dash, S dash and Q. So angle x y z see this is the angle x this is the y and this is the z so angle x y z this y angle is congruent with angle p s y okay so this s angle and this y angle they are congruent 
Why? Because they are the corresponding angle. Why they are corresponding angle? Because this QP and XY they are parallel. And XY is the transversal. So they are these two angles are corresponding angle. So which angles you are right corresponding? X, Y, J. So this Y angle is corresponding with P, X, Y, J. They are congruent with P, S, Y. Because this S angle and this Y angle, they are corresponding angles of each other. So they are congruent. So here is written. Angle X, Y, Z congruent with P, S, Y corresponding angle. Then here is another YZ is parallel to QR. See, this is the YZ. It is parallel to QR. Okay. Then this YZ is parallel to QR. So <coughs> this YZ can be extended here. And where is that intersect? There is given S name. So SZ, we can say it SZ. So this SZ is parallel to QR. Okay. So this SZ is parallel to QR and this PQ is a parallel in transversal. So this PQ is a transversal. So here is this S angle and here is this Q angle. They are the corresponding angle. See this X angle and this Q angle they are corresponding angle. So that is written here. Angle P S Y congruent with angle P Q R. Okay. Congruent with PQR or another way you can say congruent with SQR. Why it is so? See, P S Y, this S angle, congruent with SQR. So, this S angle and this Q angle they are corresponding angle. So, here is written angle P S Y, congruent with angle SQR, corresponding angle. Okay. So, see, in the first PSY congruent with XYZ. Second, PSY congruent with SQR. So, from 1 to 3, so this is first, this is second, from 1 to, we can say that this PXY is congruent with PQR. Okay, this PSY is congruent with PQR. Why? See, XYZ congruent with PSY. So this is the PSY. Then this PSY is congruent with SQR. So what happened? So we can say this PQR is congruent with XYZ. Because here is show S is congruent with Q. Then it is number second. So S is congruent with Q. So name is PSY congruent with PQR. So if this PQR is congruent with PSY, so this PSY is congruent with who? XYZ. So here is this PSY is congruent with XYZ. So this instead of this PSY, we can write here XYZ. So we write a major angle XYZ is equal to major angle PQR. Such a way this exercise is completed. I hope that all the students are understand very well. So, I am giving you homework. So, please read the homework carefully because some of the students are don't read homework carefully and they are asking me questions. So, where is given number line? Where is given dash? So, you must be observe the homework here which is given to you and with what they are given in the adjoining figure AB is parallel to CD and line PQ is the transversal major of one of the angle is given hence find the major of the following angles so this is the problem number 5 in practice set 2.1 ok so this diagram is not drawn here but this diagram is given in the textbook I am again repeating given in the textbook so with help of that diagram in that diagram there one angle major is given one angle major is given so with help of that you can find out a r t c t q d t q and p r and again repeat the diagram is question number five in 2.1 in this diagram there is angular major of one is given so with help of that you can find out this then some of the students are not listened carefully. They are only asking, so no, there is not given angle. 
so I am repeat that homework is 2.1 problem number 5 diagram is given in the textbook with help of that diagram you solve this problem have a nice day stay home stay safe